Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try uh, Positively 4th Street on the Ook. Thank you, Bob Dylan. All right. To be in the key, or in his key, you would actually put a capo at the first fret. I thought about this a little bit, and um, it's just easier to play like F shapes and stuff like that rather than uh, being the key of F sharp. So uh, I didn't do it in the original, but a capo at the first fret will put you right in his key if you just need to be in his key for some reason. But I'm not going to bother with the capo. All right, so what you need here, you need an F chord, which is the second string first fret, fourth string second fret. And that's your intro. He just stays on an F chord while the organ plays. And it's just four measures of just hanging out. Okay, if you need that. Um, if you don't have an organ play, you can go right in with start the singing, singing the song. So, um, my strum pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So that would be a measure. So, you do that four times, then the words come in. Now the whole rest of the song follows this one progression, which is great, and it just repeats over and over again for the entire song. Uh, let me just play it. It's F to a G minor to a B flat, to an F, F, to a C, to a B flat, to a D minor, to a C, okay, so the, uh, we talked about the F chord already, the second chord, the G minor, is the first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret, okay, it's a G minor, B flat is you bar the top two strings at the first fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, and then back to the F. You stay on the F for a short strum, and then a C chord, which is the 1st string, 3rd fret, that's it. Back to the B flat chord. Now a D minor chord is the 4th and 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret, and then a C chord. So let's go over the pattern now. So, uh, like I said, the whole song is F. I'm going to do one pattern on F. You know, uh, what's, what is it? The, uh, you got a lot of nerve to say you are my friend, right? You've got an F chord to a G minor to say B flat, you are my F. And then short strum on F, short strum on C, short strum on B flat, short strum on D minor, and then C, a uh, big pattern twice. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to talk about. So, um, let's go over it slow. F for one pattern. G minor for one pattern. B flat for one pattern. Back to F for one pattern. Now our short strum is just down, down, up. On the F, down, down, up. C is down, down, up. B flat, same thing. D minor, same thing. And then the C is two full patterns, just like that. And then that's the whole song. And you would end on an F chord if you um, if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to end a song, but you might want to end the song. Um, that is it. That's the whole song. It follows that pattern. And again, capo first fret will put you in the key of F sharp, which is what they're in. Uh, that's what it sounds like. And um, overall, and uh, but the capo can help you. Um, you don't want to be playing. F sharps and G sharp minors and D sharp minors and C sharp chords. Uh, why bother? All right, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any comments down below? Uh, be nice, please. And uh, play more Ook.